Hey guys, Nurse Mike here and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Before we get today's lecture started, please remember, check out our brand new app and get access to our new pharmacology and med surge mastery courses. Plus 11 other courses like fundamentals, pediatrics, maternity, mental health, and more. Complete with over 300 follow along cheat sheets and a massive quiz bank loaded with detailed rationales to test your knowledge. Join for free. Click the link in our description below. All right, guys, let's begin. Now, lactulose we call lactulose since it loosens the bowels to lower the ammonia levels. So we use the acronym LAC for lactulose. L for a laxative, A for ammonia levels that should be decreasing, and C for the cognition that returns. So keyword here is improved mental status. Now it's given to decrease ammonia levels in cirrhosis patients. It treats hepatic encephalopathy, fancy words for a cloudy brain that decreased mental status from those high levels of ammonia. So guys, lactulose helps the body poo out all that ammonia, basically massive explosive diarrhea. So just think lactulose, we lose that ammonia. Now some common distractors on the NCLEX. Ammonia levels decrease via the bowel. Guys, not the urine since it's not a diuretic. So no renal excretion of ammonia. And no, it does not decrease portal hypertension. And no, guys, abdominal distension will not improve with lactulose. Again, it helps us lose the ammonia in lactulose via those loose bowels. Now, how does a nurse evaluate the effectiveness? Guys, write down these key points here. Number one, two to three soft stools per day. Number two, ammonia levels are decreasing, but here is the key term, write this down. Cognition must be improving. So we must have improved mental status. Guys, the biggest test tip I can give you here is don't let the NCLEX trick you. Diarrhea and loose stools are not indicators that ammonia levels are decreasing. The only indicator here is improved mental status. That's how you know the drug is working. Now for sodium polystyrene sulfonate, the brand name is k -exalate, given for hyperkalemia, that high potassium. So guys, just think, k -exalate helps the K to exit the body, from the body into the potty. Now for administration, PO is the most effective, or we can also use an enema as well. Now the big key points here for patient teaching, keywords. It helps the large intestine to remove excess potassium within the body. Most commonly chosen distractors here is, guys, no contrast is used during administration, and it's not used for bedridden clients who are constipated. That would be a fleet's enema. And no, it does not decrease bacteria within the intestine. That would be a neomycin enema. Guys, again, it decreases the excess K. So K exhalate, it exits the body. Now for nursing care, we ensure normal bowel function prior to administration to prevent intestinal necrosis. So big key points, guys, we assess, always assessing first as a nurse. We're assessing the abdomen here. And for recent bowel patterns and frequency of stools, basically assessing those bowel function. Now, how do we evaluate the effectiveness? Well, potassium will be within normal limits between 3.5 and 5.0. Now, some textbooks say 5.5, but according to the NCLEX, they use 5.0. So guys, don't get tricked. We're not evaluating the effect of creatinine, phosphate, or calcium here. Now, some other stuff that's nice to know, but not necessarily a need to know. We monitor for signs and symptoms of hypokalemia, that low potassium, since K is exiting the body. So guys, remember, potassium helps the muscles pump. So low potassium, we get low pumps. So in the heart, we get palpitations and flat T waves. And guys, in the muscles, we just feel lethargy and cramping. But here's the key point. Not a priority before assessing bowel function. Guys, bowel function is always the number one assessment here. And lastly, ensure close access to the bathroom due to frequent loose stools at the beginning of therapy. And always assist to the bathroom. But again here, guys, the big priority is assessing bowel function. Now, according to the HESI here, 
we always encourage the patient to drink fluids after administration. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.